Ava blessings. Today we are going to talk about the significance of developing sinus issues. So sinus issues are incredibly annoying, um, headaches, post-nasal drip, all kinds of stuff. I just had the wonderful opportunity to co-facilitate a retreat in Avalon in Glastonbury. And I wasn't expecting this, it was completely impromptu. Thankfully, um, my co-facilitator, Taylor and friend, my beautiful friend, Eloise, we were able to step in for our mentor and teacher and friend, Anna. And we took the ladies through powerful activations, um, sound healing and um, energy work and movement, which basically a lot of it, a lot of the work we do is going to be covered in my crystal and sound alchemy, sound healing initiation training course. The kind of work that we do with the Aramaic, the mantras, the toning, the movement meditations, the sound activations is very powerful work. So the body goes through purification processes and we must undergo purifications in order for our bodies to be able to not only channel the infinite light of creation, but to receive it, to channel it, to um, generate more light, to anchor that infinite light of creation in our Malkut, in our physical experience. So when we go through these powerful activations, when we take a sound healing course, when we take an energy healing course, an initiation, um, when we go on a retreat, um, a spiritual retreat, all of these are activating different things in our energy field. So things that need to be cleared will come up. Now, the sinuses have to do with our third eye, our throat, our voice, our expression, our hearing, our ability to listen, to receive the information. These areas are very important to pay attention to because they hold, they also hold the etheric template. And the etheric template is connected with particularly the throat chakra. And we hold a lot of programs, a lot of stuff, a lot of past life soul template stuff, gifts as well as um, blockages. And blockages are simply the absence of light. So what do we do when we experience um, something off with your body. The first thing is to listen to your body, to be able to develop the intuitive wisdom to understand what is going on with your body and how to connect with each energy organ center and understand what we need to do to purify and cleanse. Sound is a very powerful activator. themselves the time to integrate what is being received. What is being received takes time to be embodied. And this is what Yeshua and Mary Magdalene and a lot of the High Holy Ascended Master teachers, this is what they wanted to impart upon us, that the ascension journey is one of embodiment, embodying the infinite light of creation learning how to purify the physical vessel and how to channel this infinite light into our work, into our lives, into our relationships. So we are going to do a beautiful little sound activation and a little bit of a mantra. Well, yes, a little bit of a mantra to allow us
hands away from our fingers, place them at our third eye point. Inhale and exhale for a few moments. Pressing on the third eye point between the brows. And on the next exhale, we're gonna tone ease. So inhale. E just release gently so these are just a little this is pretty much just a tiny taste of everything that we're gonna dive into in the crystalline sound alchemy sound healing initiation I almost feel like it's an initiation of priestesses of sound so I hope that you join me we have a beautiful group so far registration is still ongoing so feel free to check out the link in the bio read up about it if you have any questions feel free to comment and let me know what your thoughts are and if there's anything I can help you with please also reach out have a blessed rest of your day Ahava and always know that your body is incredibly intelligent so listen Allow yourself to receive the wisdom. Ahava. Uh -huh.